the Sikorsky. Boeing SB-1 defined as the Sikorsky aircraft and Boeing entry for the United States Army's future vertical lift program, succeeding the joint multi-role JMR initiative. It is a compound helicopter with rigid coaxial rotors powered by two Honeywell T-55 turboshaft engines. Sikorsky Aircraft and Boeing are jointly producing a medium-lift-sized demonstrator they named SB and GT, one defined for Phase 1 of the program. Originally planned to fly in late 2017, its first flight was delayed in April 2017 to early 2018. Once flight testing begins, the aircraft will be evaluated by the Army for further development. Sikorsky is leading the development of Phase 1 with an aircraft based on their previous Sikorsky X-2 design. Boeing plans to lead Phase 2, which is the Mission Systems Demonstrator Phase. The Boeing Sikorsky team is seen to have an advantage with their large industrial base that may result in wider support from Congress. Their transport helicopters are the most used in the Army currently. The Army is hoping to find out with the future long-range assault aircraft, FLRAW program, a developmental effort to engineer and deliver a new utility helicopter for the 2030s. The helicopter will change air combat paradigms with unprecedented speed, fuel efficiency, targeting weapons, autonomy, and artificial intelligence-enabled computing. Sikorsky engineers have said that a coaxial rotor system spins its upper and lower blades in opposite directions, such that there is not a retreating side that creates a flight imbalance. The retreating blade side is referred to in the Lockheed Sikorsky Boeing paper as a reverse velocity region which cannot produce lift, especially at higher speeds. Offsetting this potential instability, therefore, can help enable and sustain much higher speeds without compromising lift. Achieving and maintaining unprecedented lift is also fundamental to design concepts and requirements assessments for the Defiant X, as the new utility helicopter will need to operate with an ability to sling load major combat items such as an M777 155mm mobile howitzer cannon. Airdropping that kind of weapon can, of course, deliver critical suppressive firepower up at higher altitudes unreachable by wheeled vehicles. Sikorsky Boeing data on the Defiant X says that the aircraft can handle the additional weight without having to grow the rotor diameter or the engine size. So, any additional equipment, 
survivability features, payload, including external lift, can be handled without a significant and costly redesign of key dynamic components. On this point, a Sikorsky write-up says the Defiant X's predecessor was able to slingload a 53,000-pound guided multiple launch rocket system. One of the key things often emphasized by major Army weapons developers, such as Army Futures Command Commander General John Murray, is that new technologies continue to change tactics and maneuver formations. That being said, will a new FL rover shape approaches to combined arms maneuver? It certainly seems likely, should one consider that a faster helicopter might also be able to maneuver much more successfully in operations such as air assault rates of high-speed infantry delivery in a contested landing zone. The Defiant X builds upon Sikorsky's history of developing coaxial rotor blades to break new ground with its X2 technology demonstrator in 2010 by hitting 250 knots. Bell developers have told the national interest that their V280 has hit 305 knots. X2 technology demonstrator set new records by flying more than 250 knots in 2010. Korsky's S-97 Raider helicopter in 2019 hit 207 knots. Sikorsky continues to expand the envelope as they prepare the Raider X prototype, a scaled version of the S-97 for the future attack reconnaissance aircraft competition, 